Oh, I thought there was a crack in my phone. I was like, fuck. Um, all right. So, hello. I am going to be doing my makeup today. I'm going to be doing a few things, actually. I'm going to try and multitask. So, I'm going to do, like, a condensed, I guess, everyday kind of look that I have been doing lately because someone requested that. Um, and on top of that, I'm going to be talking about um, friends only, if you catch my drift, because um, I don't want to say the actual site, but, uh, so I'm going to be doing that while getting ready, but mainly the focus isn't going to be as much on what I'm doing makeup wise. I'm kind of just doing a chit chat, watch what I'm doing. If you do want me to go into more detail, like a detailed tutorial, I guess, then let me know, but I feel like I really don't do anything that, that like crazy or difficult um, and then I'm also trying out a new product so I feel like there's a lot going on in this video okay so if I don't mention what product I'm using I will link everything all the steps uh, description so you can go look if I for whatever reason forget but this is the NYX fill and fluff for my eyebrows um, and I kind of like do I just like fill them in like kind of shittily because I don't know why this is this is so weird doing my makeup like in natural lighting I'm so used to that closet I showed you a few videos ago this is like so like much more intense looking than in the darker room. My brow hair grows like faster than any hair on this planet, honestly. Like I'll shave it or trim it and then next thing you know, it's like right back. I don't like how my brows are looking right now either. Like, why do you have to do this right now? Like, you couldn't have, like, got it together for this video. I'm just like, I can't. Seeing this picture in the back, let me show you it. That. It's actually really big. Like, I feel like because it's really far back, it doesn't look that big. But it's a big picture. So big it couldn't even fit in my car. Um, but a funny story is my boyfriend actually had to walk with that all the way home because we bought it and then we were like, we tried putting it in the car to take it home and it wouldn't fit. So, and we're both really stubborn and he's a Gemini and I'm a Scorpio. So we're both like very like, if we do something like we're sticking to it. And so we didn't want to, we, instead of returning it, like we should have, he, just walked it all the way home, so it's a special painting to me. All right, let me come back when the brow situation's figured out because this has been five minutes of just my brows and it's like, I can't, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, the brows, I'm gonna be really real, are hissing me off. Um, I don't know what it is, but I guess, like, they're just going to have to do. I'm moving on to my face makeup. This is the Milani Chill Out Primer. It's like a mint little moment. It's just clear. And I put it on my pore areas. So, okay. I really like this primer. Um, I'm actually, oh my god, there's cat hair. I'm really, really excited because me and my best friend in two weeks, I don't know when you'll be seeing this, probably I don't even know what day it is. You'll probably see this this week. I'm filming, I don't even know what day it is, but you'll see this this week. Um, but in two weeks, me and my friend are, my best friend of like 12 years, she used to be in the vlogs. Her name's Allie. Going on a girls trip together to Florida. Is anyone surprised? Excited because me and her have never been on a trip together, which is crazy. I don't even know how that's possible, but um, 
Um, side note, let me backtrack. I'm like getting so ahead of myself. I am trying out the new, it says new even on this packaging, so I assume it's brand, it's like brand new, but it might not be. It's the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Glow foundation, and it looks like that. I hope it's my color. I don't know. But yeah, I'm kind of just going to be testing this out because I saw it and I was like, girl. And I just will dot it on my face. Like so. I should have clipped my hair back before it gets all over. Then I'm taking a stippling brush and I'm just going to kind of blend it in. This looks like a pretty good color match, right? Mm. My first impressions is that it's like really not full coverage at all. Like at all, sis. It's like light, 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 light coverage. In real life, you can like see my redness still. So let me try and put more on. How do we like this? Right now, I'm gonna be really honest. I kinda don't like it. Uh, yeah, it's, it just looks like I would have rather just not put anything on my face if this is all you're gonna give, Miss Mams. Like, I mean, I guess like it, what's it called? Evened out the skin tone, but like, I don't know. Now, now I have to like put concealer on over and stuff and it's just like, I'm used to, you know what you need to get if you want like a good recommendation for me is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Like looks like this. This is like full coverage and you don't even feel it. For eye primer and going back over any more spots that I'm not happy with, I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. It looks like that. And this is a really good eyeshadow primer. If you are in need of one, it just stays all day and is that girl. Alright, oh, that looks so crazy. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I really don't, I really don't like this, whatever this is, the photo ready thing, this thing, I really don't like it. Um, probably give this to my mom or something, I don't know, but it's just not for me. Like on camera, it looks cute, but it's just, in real life, it's like bringing out all the bad parts of my face. And, like, the dry areas are, like, brought out. So, I don't know about that. For bronzer, I'm using the Essence, like, Sunny Bronzer. Sun Club Luminous Bronzer. My bad. And this is in, like, light medium. What I do is I learned that to put, like, bronzer right here. I learned to put bronzer right here because it, like what's it called it's where the sun naturally hits you so it's more realistic than like focusing it like right here i still throw a little there just to add color to my face right and then i'm gonna add a little of this mac margin i don't think they even sell this anymore but it's been my favorite like cheek product for years honestly I got it when I was like really young but I can't stop using it and I haven't died yet so 
just gives like the prettiest like glow. Oh. Do you see that? Why does it look like that? Bitch. Ew. This is my last makeup video. I'm never doing makeup again because what the fuck? Looks like I put nothing on. Alright, I think that's all I'm going to do with face products because they're just making me so dis- I just cannot get over how bad that foundation stuff was. Like, holy shit. It was like I put water, like, on my face. So then I am taking- this is the K KKW Winnie Harlow palette. This was on sale. I got this palette for $5. I'm like, what's wrong with it? But no, it's because she's rebranding. I just realized I don't know how I'm going to do this. Because I need both hands. Um, fuck. Not the no mirror challenge, but literally. You could probably honestly do this without a mirror. I, no, I could save her. I just don't have words. Like, I swear, this has bad voodoo in it. Like, this just ruined everything. Like, I am so sorry for thinking this was a good idea. So my camera overheated and I'm back and I think I've been blending for like 10 minutes in a row and I'm still like not super happy with how it looks. I don't know. It's just this, these shadows are kind of hard to blend out. So it's like being, it's like frustrating a little. But like we'll go on. It's just eyeshadow. It's really not that big of a deal. But yeah. It's like the colors are, like that brown I used is so pigmented. It's like once I put it down, it does not want to go anywhere. So that's where we're at. All right. And then I put the same brown under my eyes. It's all you missed while I was gone. And now I want to take this gold right here and put that on my eye. It's a really nice gold. Like, look at that. I think for $10, this palette's worth it. For like 35 or however much it originally was, I don't think, I would not pay for that. Like, hello, okay, 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 okay. It's coming together matching my headband it's coming together all right the lashes will definitely save this look I am putting on these Tony you can get these at the dollar store they're they were a dollar um, lashes I've already used them once so they're kind of like you know stuck together or whatever but I love these lashes they're so good um, so I'm just gonna pop those on. Alright, I'm back. The lashes are cooperating. And I'm gonna be using L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara for mascara today. It's funny, I, when I worked at the hotel, like in the hotel industry before, you know, the panini happened, um, some girl, like, came in and I was working at the front desk and they were like, what mascara do you use? And it was this one. She was like, I'm running and going to get a bottle for myself. Because it's really good. I really do like it. All right, and the eyes are complete. This is basically a typical look I would wear. I, you know, I don't really, like for my every, every day, I won't wear lashes normally, but if I'm going out, this is typically what I wear. 
So for lips, I recently have just gotten into lips. Normally I, my lips are really dry, so I've strayed away from wearing anything on the lips, but I've been having fun with it lately. Um, this is just a lip scrub. Oh, but real quick before I forget, um, I was saying the girls trip. I'm really excited for this girls trip. If you have any good suggestions for like Fort Myers or Cape Coral area where like restaurants, cool spots, let me know. Message me on Instagram. I don't check the YouTube, like my YouTube comments the day after the video is posted because ugh, trolls, I'm just, yeah. So message me on Instagram, any cool spots in the Fort Myers, Cape Coral area. Even Key Largo, maybe, we might go down there for a day or two um, because I really want to know. But I'm really excited and nervous because, yeah, we kind of just booked it and didn't really think about it. We literally booked the flights and all that with no planning, so. Okay, so I want to try something fun. I'm going to put this darker Maybelline lipstick in 955, like, kind of on the corners. Oh, there's like a plum. I thought this was brown. Great. Just adding more to this shit show of a video. Why don't we? So I'm doing that kind of a moment. What if I just left it like this? Um, okay. And then should I use this or this? I'm kind of feeling like this. I, this just seems too brown for this look. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, alright. Cute. Okay, this is kind of cute, honestly. Maybe. Oh, I'm, I completely forgot concealer. Let me just add that and I'll come back. All right, and this is the final look. How do we feel? I cannot believe how big of a shit show that was. Honestly, it's like anything that could have gone wrong went wrong. And yeah. Um, but I don't think it's too bad for considering all things that happen. Do not buy this. I've said this five times unless you already have perfect skin and don't really even need to be wearing anything on your face at all. There are so many better tinted moisturizers even if you did want something than this. And yeah, I would just go with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It's probably the same price anyway. And yeah, what else can I say this palette was kind of a eh. um i love the dollar store lashes definitely get those if you can a lot of lash sellers or resellers tend to buy them quick but for a dollar you li they're literally so gorge um i really like this too this primer from milani the milani concealer i use is a definite must the mascara this seemed to be pretty cute too. This was the first time I used this eyeliner from Essence, the super precise eyeliner. It's waterproof as well. Yeah, I think I want to thank you guys for watching this craziness. Um, and stay tuned for the second video I'm filming in this exact look about friends only. Leave me um, suggestions for Cape Coral and Fort Myers if you're familiar with the area. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.